Hi everyone, Patty here, full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, better known as Girl Hustle on YouTube. Today is going to be sort of a different kind of a video for me. I'm going to be sharing some items I got yesterday while, help, while helping my son clean out the attic. What's going to be different for me about this video, and hopefully will help you step out of your comfort zone, is I'm going to be selling in a new category, which is Brewerina. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the items that my son said that I could have to list if I wanted to or do with whatever I want. One of the boxes I did open up last night to kind of go through with it and get an idea of what was in there. The other one I opened and I only opened up the I only opened up the one item that was in there and the rest of it is all still wrapped up. I have no clue what they are. I know what they are, but I didn't open them up yet. But the reason I'm doing this video is I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be listening in a new category. Not exactly sure how old and vintage his stuff is, but I'm thinking it's probably more, you know, kind of more modern, but it's still, you could still list this type of thing, but I have no clue. So this is where I'm going to need help, but stick with me to the end because I have something that I was left from my mom and dad and they found it in the rafters of the attic. So that'll be at the end of the video and I'll share that and that is vintage. So I'm gonna get right into this video. I don't know how well these do. Items that I'm gonna show you are ones that he had left here that he forgot about and I pulled them out just to show you these. The other ones that I'm gonna be showing you after these two boxes are items that he had in my closet and I'm gonna let him know that they're still here and see if he still wants them. But they're pretty cool and I thought I'd share them with you. Some of these I looked up, maybe 10 bucks, a little bit less. This one's pretty rough around the edges, but it's still cool for collectors. This is just an old Bavarian. This was my dad's favorite beer. He would come home with two cases of it a week back in the day. And my son actually has an old case, that old red case. It's back in the closet, but I couldn't pull it out. I would have loved to get it, but I have so much stuff, you know. I don't drink, so I don't know a lot of these names or anything about them, really. I'm just showing them, showing them to use. Maybe you can help me out a little bit. It's pretty, I just have to wash that off. I'm not, you know, because the rest of it's good. So I guess that just got from being stored, whatever. Now I'm going to be opening some of these. I'm going to show you a few that are already open and then I'm going to open the other ones online for you to see because I'm going to be just as excited as you and who knows what I'm going to, who knows what we're going to see here, but first I'll show you these. These are just little things that he has a bunch of the little shot glasses. Now this is like a newer advertising, but people buy this stuff because they can't get a hold of it or they can't find it or for whatever reason. So Heineken, 
this is actually in very good condition it just looks it's actually really nice condition but it's a Heineken you know how I love my hats not it's not really a vintage one it's still advertising I don't know what this is I have no clue Maybe just uh, it's a long rubber. I don't know what that is. Now I have sold in this category. However, it wasn't beer related. So this is gonna be interesting what I find. And this is a Schlitz glass. I just thought I'd share these with you. It's something different. And it's all, it's, it's all going to be new to me. So I'm going to be doing a lot of researching. I'm going to be doing a lot of price, you know, seeing what the prices are going for and seeing what to list at. And since I'm getting this little bit of knowledge here, I'll know what I look when I'm out, if I come across the stuff, what what to look for. This is a Schaefer. This is one of those plastic mugs. Now you can't see, I have, there's some light shining in here. A Budweiser. I think I'm getting, a, there's a glare here from this freaking light. Now, some of this stuff, I don't know if it's new or not. So if any of you can help, you'd be truly appreciate it. And this, this, these are nice and bright. It's just the light from this. But these are all in nice condition, these cups. Is, it has neat detail on it. This has nice detail on it. I'm not sure exactly the brand. I don't know if it's old. He just like he had a he just liked to collect all kinds of beer advertising so there's going to be a mix of all different kinds of things in here another Budweiser all right now here's one wrapped I don't know what's in it don't even know how old it's actually seven up Some of these bottles I know do sell, but you have to, they're, they're like dated and marked somehow on the bottom of them and you want to look at that. But this one looks like it's in pretty good, you know, the coloring in the is in pretty good, this one looks like it's in pretty good condition. So I'll be checking this one out later, see where it was made at. Another one. these I don't even know if this is a beer one but this is what was in there I don't know if you can get a good picture of that with me not my face not in it I think it looks pretty cool I think this one's pretty cool I think I might keep that one Oh, it is. It's Yards. It's actually Yards Brewing Company. It's different. Another one. 
sorry I'm not standing up doing this video. It's just my room and my room here is small. What's in there? It looks like something's in there. Hmm. That's interesting. These are pretty cool glasses here he has. Nice and heavy too. And then there's something. Yeah, so I'll be busy. I'll be busy for a little bit. I love listing new things, especially when I have a lot of it, because I can learn stuff about it. There's something, maybe not. No, I guess it ain't. You'll be hearing me break things. Yeah, he let him and my other son, uh, I have some games to list and stuff from when they were young. Samuel Adams. Bread and butter items, but they're cool items to have in your store because there's a big market for this type of a thing. Watch my glasses don't get get broke. Budweiser. This one's a nice. This one feels kind of heavy. This one feels neat. They all are. They're all. They're all pretty. Cool. Oh, this one is. I love it. I might keep this one. I don't know. What's this stuff? Little trinket. Found some little trinkets in here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It was inside of the glass, Budweiser. I don't know if that's just a, it's just an advertising. I thought it actually was a, yeah, no, it's just an advertising little thing. How cool is that? In two ways, so I, I can advertise it, the Phillies and with the Budweiser. See, so there's little things in there, but I don't know what they are yet. I put my glasses on. Just a little golf ball. Little golf and tees and just a little I'll put them there before I drop them. I seen this this little shamrock in there and I knew there had to be advertising on. I can't I can't see good without my glasses, but I knew he wouldn't have that in there for nothing. And I, it says uh, Miller Lite. Just little things. I don't know what that is, but it's just cute. But I'm going to keep that because I am Irish. This is a Budweiser one. This is actually called a Stein. Or a Stable. They think there's like German ones. There's all different kinds. But I like these. Something cider. But this is a cider. Some kind of advertising you can't really see I will wash them up so they're nice and sparkly and I will use a black poster board so it will bring out the white lettering it'll bring another one Samuel Adams this one's pretty tall And I'm sure there's all kinds of names for, because when you do your listings on, in glassware, to be seen really good in search, you want to know the type and the name of the specific glasses that you're listing in. You know what it's called? I know there's a certain name 
for this type of glass and it's a little bit dusty here. But then when you, when you know the certain names, some people search for the certain names in the glasses and if they're searching that way, it just narrows down their search and makes it easier to find your item listed. If I explain myself right. You know, like there's tumblers, there's mugs, there's pint glasses. People, we all learn from each other. And this is like a newer modern one. Another Samuel Adams. This one's cool though. This one has snowflakes on it. So I'm excited to list that one. You can see the little snowflakes. So you know this was like a Christmas. A Christmassy kind of one. And this is all new to me. So step out of your step out of your comfort zone. Here's another one. I think this is just a different color than the other one. This one has the snowflakes, but this one has green on it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the last one did. Maybe it did. And here's a taller one, it looks like. This is a Coors Light. You see the neat detail down there? going around it. It's like textured. It actually looks like, I don't know, it's just a neat one. Here's another one. This one's pretty neat looking. This is the yard. I, he had another one with this brand on it. Yards Brewing Company. That's one thing I don't need in my house is glasses. We have so many glasses and mugs down there, it's not even funny. Oh my God, goodness. And, and I know they sell, I know they sell. I have some, you know, listed and stuff. I have a lot of work with me cleaning these up. They're not really that dirty, but I'm gonna be cleaning them because I don't, I like them to be nice and, I like, them. I like my, my listings to look nice. Now here, see this is what I mean by a different type of glass. Like, what what is that? I mean, it's different, but I don't know what it is. And it would be nice to know what it is. So what I'll do is, I will, when I'm, before I list this, I will look for, you know, advertising, Budweiser advertising glasses, and I will look, and even, what I'll do is, I will actually, to find out what kind of glass this is, I will actually look under Brewerina glasses, and I will just go through. I'll first, I'll try to filter it out by putting fil uh, Budweiser Brewerina glasses in it and see what comes up. And it might take me a little time, but I will find this. If I don't, I will just list it as a tall, I'll put the measurements in it and I might put glass with base in the title if I don't find out what the kind of glass this, what specific glass type this is. But I'll learn as I go along. So then when I'm out and I see advertising on beer advertising glasses, I will know you know, to pick it up or not. Hopefully I'm not rushing through this for you. Maybe I'm go maybe I'm going too slow. I only have there's only there's only two more in here and then I have something else I want to share with you. I just wanted to do this video because this is just another category for me to learn and 
This one's neat. Blue moon. I thought it will help somebody maybe step outside of their comfort zone. And I need some help. I need some help identifying some of these glasses. And hopefully if somebody comes across my video and they can, you know, let me know. And I'll, I'd be very thankful if you, if you, you know, can help me out. And this is the last one in here. This one's kind of new, I think. I don't know. It's Angry Orchard. Angry Orchards. But you see how that glass is shaped? And maybe they don't have specific names, but I know some of them do. Maybe all of them don't. I have no clue. I, I don't. But I'm, I'm going to learn. I'm always willing to learn in this, doing this. So I am going to... Go through that stuff later, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to share some of the tin advertising that he had here, and I'm going to share some of that with you. Maybe he doesn't want it anymore, but I'm sure he does, because he had a lot of it, but oh yeah, this I found this too in, in that glass, just a bottle opener on, a, on some beads. I should have bring them down. I have lots of can openers too, but they're upstairs, but I'm not gonna, I, they're, they're all different kinds of can, but I shouldn't say, I have a lot of bottle openers also that are advertising, that are beer related advertising, all different colors, styles. Before I, before I, show that other thing I do want to I, before I show that I just wanted to share what I found in the he had a bag in there he likes old stuff he likes history and stuff like that and I just thought this was interesting Maybe if I put my glasses on. Take a guess how much the newspaper was in 1936. Two cents. This was, I found this newspaper. It's dated 1936. in yeah but I found it interesting I looked at it and he has a couple here's another one well this one's ripped I don't even want to but I opened it up and I was reading some of it last night but I don't want to because it's so fragile and it can it can rip This one, this one's 1973. What I found cool about this was, you see how wide this, this is, this is a newspaper and you open it up and it's like huge. I don't even know, like it's really huge. Now it's about half the size of that. But I looked at some of the articles last night, it was cool. I thought it was interesting. Me. What's good about Boo Arena, there is so many items in these category in this category that you can find stuff with beer related advertising on in all um, in s almost anything. Like here now, this is a newer. I think I don't know, but this is a a mirror. But people look for this stuff. This is neat. This is they look for this stuff to put in their bedroom, put in their den, or Yeah, I have to tell him this is here because it was all bit in the back of the closet that I used to store my stuff in and he probably forgot about it and this is it's, it's metal and they're very it's they're very very sharp Ooh. 
I guess he planned on putting them up because he has those sticky things on them. Ouch, I just got cut. This one's a pretty big one. And these are all in really, really good condition. There's no rust or anything, so they're probably more modern. This one has a date on it, I think. Maybe it don't. Let me see. This one says Plank Plank Road Brewery. Yeah, there's there's no date on it. Maybe when I look at it closer, maybe around the edges of it, but I'm not going to hold your time up looking for that. I think this one's cool, so it's cute. But these are all metal signs, and yeah. This is stuff that these signs, people look for these. There's all kinds of tastes in the world, but I'm going to get into sharing what I'm not sure if it was my mom or my dad that found this bottle. What did I do with it? Oh, but this was found in, I think, no, it was my dad. So my, my, my dad found this bottle years ago in the rafters of either the cellar or the attic, I'm not sure. My mom and dad are no longer uh, with us, but I don't remember what my mom said where, where he found them. Let me see if the date's on it first. Now these are the bottles that, this is the Yingling Brewery. Do you see it has the blob top here? Part of the cork still in there. The glass is blown glass. It's 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 not really even. I'm not sure how old this is. I did try looking it up uh, years ago, but it's pretty old. But early 1900s, maybe 1800s. I'm not sure. But you see how the bottom of it is not, it's not. But yeah, it was up in the rafter, so. I guess the guy was down there drinking his beer and he got tired and maybe just put his bottle up there. Hopefully you found some, some interest in this. It encourages you to try new things, list new items. Yeah, it does take some time. This will take me time now, but. Once it's done, it's done, and I have that little bit of knowledge to go on to, to find other stuff like this. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe.